because they're social doesn't necessarily mean that they're sociable, that they're companionable. They're actually quite a violent, aggressive, warlike yeah. species, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, let's take a look at, uh, at a couple of ants fighting, because I like this, uh, this uh -huh. video. What's going on here? Well, uh, they're fighting to the death. Uh, you know, ants are supposed to be uh, very harmonious and companionable, but that's only for the fellow ants in their own colony. In other words, perfect order and harmony. Well, not completely perfect, but we don't have time to go into that. Uh, but they get along very well. And they, they, uh, they sacrifice themselves for the welfare of other members and all of that. So people get the idea that, well, why can't we live like ants? But the fact is that while they get along so well with others that smell like them, they are frequently, frequently at constant war. And they commit mermicide. That's the that's, uh, uh, one colony will completely extinguish another colony. Wipe it out if you can get the chance. I can't so, imagine what it's like to be an organism that does that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Well, um, they're far worse than us, actually. They're the most warlike. Let's take a look creatures. at the ant, uh, the ant nest, the ants defending their nest, because uh, this is a perfect example of what you're talking about. What are they spraying here? What is this? Well, this is a kind of ant that uh, you would find around here. Uh, they build big mounds. They're on the top of them there. And these, these ants are defending their nest against uh, uh, some kind of invader. And they've come out, and what they do, can you see that the stuff spraying up into the yep. air there? Yeah. Uh, that's formic acid. Formic acid. Yeah. So they form uh, a kind of big artillery battery on top. All those ants are standing there. And notice they, they're sticking their the bottoms, their abdomens up, up in the air, and they're squirting out formic acid. So that you can uh, you get quite a, a, a load of poison. I remember one of the first time I started working on ants, I decided I'd start collecting some of these specimens. And boy, the next morning I saw the skin peeling off my fingers. Uh, you don't mess around with those ants. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, I guess that's a flip side of the same thing that keeps them so cohesive when they're inside the same colony, right? I mean, if you're, if you're super, super social and super, super loyal and, mm -hmm. um, and deeply dedicated to the colony itself, then you're probably equally aggressive towards any threat to that colony. That's right. Uh, the, uh, by being completely harmonious in your little group and very aggressive toward and competitive toward other groups, uh, you, in the end, control more territory, you raise more new queens to go out, mate, and start new colonies. So your kind succeeds over those that can't do it the way you do it.